Good morning, everyone. Surfcal, we are playing some more Cthulhu Saves the World. And we are heading into Ghost Forest. Um, I'm a little nervous with the fact that there's 30 battles here. So hopefully we're able to find some or a save point not too far in. I don't want to grind all the battles out, but I do want to know that I've got some safety if I need it. Um, if I start running low on resources, I'm going to teleport out. Um, story. What is this place? A cult worship, a cult worship on site. We should be on our guard. But they worship Cthulhu, right? We should be safe. Not necessarily. Cultists aren't known for being reasonable. They'll probably even attack... Uh, probably attack everyone on site, even their own god. You have some weird followers. <laughs> You're telling me. Okay. Let's go right first here. Nope. This is going to be a fun maze, I suspect. Chip Horde, Spectres, and Mist Snakes. Looking for a Mist Snake Charmer. The Cute Killers of this Animal World. Oh, those are Chipmunks, okay. They look more like squirrels than chipmunks. Um, and has never been in outer space. Okay. The chip ward somehow has 800 hit points. So I think what we do here is... Actually, yeah, let's do Call Kraken. Multi-strike, and I'm going to Deadly Kiss on the chipboard. Blood, Tempest. Dodge. Poison, crack. There we go. I did the dodge and protect on that last turn just for uh, MP conservation. The biggest thing with this game seems to be MP con conservation as far as challenge goes. Still waiting for his day. Uh, that's a reference to the LucasArts game Day of the Tentacle. Zapper made of highly conductive metal pine. Okay. And Witch Doctor accepts most insurance plans. Huh. Now, I wonder if they're uh, taking new patients. I know they're a witch doctor, but I feel like that's probably still better than the state of the American... Uh, American Metals Medical Society. Let's go Dark Spiral. Plague. He doesn't have any group attacks. I kind of feel like I may have made a mistake there, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it.
Luckily, HP is not a concern. We get that back every turn, so... Or every, uh, battle. I'd rather lose... I'd rather have a risky battle with low HP than waste MP when I don't need to. Does she have any... I don't think she's got any group attacks besides play. So I think what I'm going to do is just do regular attacks here and fireball. Threw the fireball in as a just in case, and it looks like I did need it. That's okay. Ooh. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to get Cthulhu's agility up. Um. Both for the sake of turn order, because I feel like when I full, there's been a couple times where I've wanted to full heal, but it kills the combo before I get a chance to use Cthulhu as a finisher. Also, because Cthulhu going before enemies means he can drain strike more reliable. Uh, Umi, I think I'm actually gonna go with. I'm just gonna go stats up this time. MP is a big deal, and getting more MP there would have been nice, but I don't feel like it's necessary. Before the world began, the Mistwolf was here. Unicorn, not so innocent. Oh boy. Take out this mist wolf, and we're gonna poison everything else. Then just physical attacks the rest of the way, I think. Okay, that's a loop. Good to know. This is a crazy maze. I think this is going to take us back down towards the beginning. So one thing I did not notice originally is it looks like the poison doesn't do initial damage and the amount of damage that's listed is the damage the poison does. So a more powerful poison attack, like Deadly Kiss, will do way more damage over time. I did not notice that at first and that is kind of huge. Um, that definitely means that having Deadly Kiss is way better for the sake of 
uh, boss fights. I'm very lost. So, targets one group as a physical attack. That's pretty awesome. Um, strike Tentacles. I thought we were going to be okay there. Let's be a little safer then, I guess. <laughs> Let's go call Kraken. Ah, uh, protect. Click. Nope. That's. That was a mistake. Hopefully, it was not a costly mistake. Given how deep I got in that one go here, and the fact that we're hurting a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, refill. We weren't down that many resources. The main thing that I was realizing there is that I really wanted to get a fresh start. Because I was feeling very lost in the mix. <laughs>
Okay, so from here we can probably do a Flood. Let's do a Tempest. And a Fireball over here. Flood, Tempest. Two attacks there, Fireball there, Kraken there. October is slow. <laughs> Wind Windstrike, single target. Yeah, I suspect Tornado is a spell, which hits a group, which I was just saying he doesn't have a group attack, but his, MP, his uh, magic attack is terrible. I think we just go Wind Strike, and we've got an option for a wind attack. We did miss a treasure chest back there. You know what? I'm going... Yeah, we, we should go back. Treasure chests are important. If it ended up being something like an armor or weapon that I needed, I would feel really bad. It's a one-up, which we do need also. That's a little scary. Go call Kraken. Multi strike on the Witch Doctor. Deadly kiss on the first chipboard. Rain strike on the right chipboard. Siren's call on the left to stun it out. And I think we just go Wind Strike Fireball here. Fireball would have been great to finish that guy off, but oh well. Uh, train Strike. heal. So we just need to survive a turn. So if I die, I come back now, having cleared the first screen at least. There's a treasure chest. Banshees, one of the better opera singers you've ever met. did not go the way I was expecting it to. And I clicked through it too fast to notice what was going on. So I'll just have to play it by ear here and see what we can do. Yeah, it says all enemies. There must have been a stun or something in the middle that cut them off.
Okay. Uh, let's go Cthulhu back up. Finish off the zapper. Never mind. I guess we keep doing that. She gets a full heal off before whoever else goes. 40, 35, not worth it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be a little risky here. We're gonna flood. That'll take out the zapper. There we go. Break the cycle. <laughs> it's like Umi goes first, so if we have her attack, that's one less attack we're taking. We just passed three treasure chests there that are all pretty much even with each other. 356. Okay, so we did a Kraken and a Tempest. Let's go Drain Strike. Blood Tempest. We're dead. Pretty much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give up and pick back up because that's why we saved. I feel like there's probably a better way to get to the treasure that was in the middle there. down. I think there were three over here. That looks like it might be the right way. I think in general, one of the things I need to be better about is paying attention to the fact that I have these options for... Oh, interesting. So lowers his physical defense, but gives him a big agility boost. Honestly, with where we're at right now, I kind of want to do that. I feel like we're still getting outsped very often, and having Cthulhu able to go 
before everybody else, feels like it could be really good. Cthulhu protects the party. We go Siren's Call on the wolf. Multi strike to finish it off. Wake, poison. There we go. That felt efficient. That's new. Odd two. Feed me, Cthulhu. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, they had a, a, feed, or a little shop reference in uh, one of their other games, too. It's a good reference. I'm not complaining. Ice Strike on on or on this one that has the most health. Drain Strike on this one. Plague on the Zappers. Ice Strike on a Zapper, Fireball on a Zapper. October is now 17. Curse? Fragile. Fragile is actually amazing. Um, so one of the things that I've noticed is I'm curious if part of the reason we're getting wrecked sometimes is because we have enemies go insane too quick. Um, Insanity does, does give us a few buffs, but only a few. And it often buffs enemies as well. The reason I've been mostly using it, especially during boss fights, was specifically because of Curse. Um, because that resistance is minus 50% is huge over time. That adds up. Um, but being able to go fragile without having uh, the other options feels like it could be really good. how much further we've gotten the ghost for us but we've been going for a little while and we just got to a new screen so i think we're gonna go ahead and save here and we'll pick back up next time hopefully with uh the rest of the ghost for us and a boss fight
and maybe on to the next town. Hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.